We've all been fed and told how important a blog is. It's, it's the window to your brand's personality, the very soul of your brand. And while some of that is true, let's get down to the actual facts. No one is reading your blog. It's a great space for you to show your values and your beliefs and how you operate and your expertise and your products and services. Sure. And there are going to be those people that really like the details that are going to read your blog. That is not 80% of humanity. But the reason why you should write a blog is because the Google bots are going to be looking at your website. And the more that you talk about a particular service, the more that Google believes that you are the good answer for that product or service. Now, the key factor here is don't just write crap. It needs to be legitimate. It needs to be valuable. It needs to be impactful. And it needs to be different than maybe what everybody else is saying. But really what you need to be doing is answering a commonly searched question that people are searching on Google because Google is going to be reading your blog more than any one person. Also, huge highlight, thank the Lord, now short form blogs are actually ranking higher. So you don't have to find a 3000 word blog or sit down and come up with 1500 words. Urgh. No, 500 words or less is actually doing much better. And that's probably because people are actually likely to read it if it's shorter. So as you structure your blogs in 2024, make sure there's plenty of spaces because it makes it easier to read. It's less clunky. Make sure it's 500 words maximum and lead with the frickin' punches. You should also always make sure that you are using SEO rich words, but keep it at a sixth grade reading level because everybody needs to be able to understand it, not just a Google bot and not just you. Plus, if you are adding pictures, don't use a lot because now those look spammy, whether it's an actual ad or not. Just use the words, keep it concise. But if you are going to use an image, make sure that you're utilizing the alternative text behind the image because what that does is it tells the Google bot what that picture is of and actually write what that picture is of. Don't just like put random crap behind it. But it makes your website more handicap friendly as well because now even a blind person can have the picture read to them to know what that picture is of. And just like if your business has a ramp into the building and it's handicap accessible, you're going to be recommended more often. Same thing for your website. So don't give up on blogs yet, but let's just be smarter. If you'd like a free trial for our software that can host your blog, comment yes in the comments.